I'm done. Hmm? Someone is using my credit card and just keep pushing online orders. Oh, or maybe someone has automated browsing internet so they can just type in natural language and execute browsing tasks on internet without coding anything. Yeah, maybe. What a beautiful day. Listen, I found an open source library that I could automate browsing internet. So without doing anything on browser, just typing in natural language. So I don't need to fill out the forms manually or log into different websites or push orders. I can just do them by typing and I had to give it a try. So I use your credit card to test that library. Never get a digital twin for yourself. Hmm. Let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, welcome to La Vague, or I think in French, La Vague which is an open source library that can help you to automate browsing internet. So it's a little bit different than uh, AI integration with chat, for example, Bing chat or Copilot. This is about how we can automatically do tasks on browser. Let's say here I have opened my um, Chrome browser or you might have using Microsoft Edge. Regardless, what we're going to do, we're going to see how we can execute tasks and do action over browser, but without us doing that with some just natural language. So you might have already been doing some repetitive tasks in your browser. For example, you go to a specific website, fill out forms, do some actions, and you have thought about automating them, but you don't want to go through writing down web scrapping codes or dealing with HTML XPass stuff to figure out the components in HTML, click on them and do the execution and automation with code, which is pretty painful. But what we can do here, we're going to see how we can automate those tasks, like fill it out forms, logging into different websites, do any action on any website with just natural language. As you can see here in the GitHub repo, here's an example of navigating and going to uh, hugging face and doing some actions like logging in using username and password. But without us doing that, we just natural language that we're typing here. So. Uh, let me go through a demo that we're going to check how we can run that. I'm going to use Google Colab for the, for a Python environment. But the good news is uh, you can run it anywhere necessary that you have Python. And of course, there's LLM on backend. I'm going to use uh, OpenAI, but it is not only integrated to OpenAI or Azure OpenAI. You can even connect to all different Hugging Face models and even run local ones in case you, you care about privacy stuff. So check out their documents. Definitely, or you have a variety of different options for your uh, language model point of view. Okay, so the quick tour that I'm gonna run, there is a Google Colab code, which I ran this to run um, Lavog locally, and I start automating a task inside the browser, which I'm gonna show you. And I will add the reference of, sorry, the link of this code to Discord channel, and click on Discord channel link in video description. You go there, there's a reference section. Click on the reference section, you will see the link of this Google Colab repo. Okay, so in this file, let me scroll down. Technically, on backend, Lavog is using Selenium, and Selenium is a way that you can interact with browser in, in Python. It has a Python package. So we need to definitely have that installed. Also, Selenium will use your cho chosen browser driver. For example, here I want to use Chrome when I automate tasks, so I need to also download Chrome driver. That's why in this code, there are a bunch of different libraries and packages I need to download to make sure uh, the VOG can work properly. So here I am, let's say, download the, the Chrome driver, and then unzipping that for Linux. And then I can install the VOG from their GitHub repo. So just technically need to clone, and just to pip install, and the package is installed for me. Okay, here, of course, you need to connect to OpenAI. So I have added my OpenAI key, and I'm going to revoke that, of course, after recording this video. But again, OpenAI is just one integration from language model for Lavog. You don't have to use it, but here for this demo, I'm using OpenAI. Then the next part of the code is going to generate a .py code called OpenAI that 
store the confidential information about my key and how to actually call my LLM here I think it's gonna use GPT 3.5 and here's a snapshot of how that code gonna look like and then lastly I gonna launch so I actually clicked on it and as you can see it launched the log here I can run it locally or public using radio so let me click on it and it should show me a log running properly so let's go with its own example now here you need to enter the URL that you want to automate tasks over that using browser and then tell okay what you're going to do with hugging face for example open hugging face click on data set items on the menu between models and spaces okay so let's click on enter and see what's going to happen so you're going to hit enter here not only go and automate the task on browser but it will also show me the generated code based on selenium that is running that on my browser so in case you want to check out how the code works you can how this works you can check out the generated code here and there you go it opened the hugging face for me and then it went to to data set section so what else click on the search bar filter by name type the stack and press enter And by the way, this is not some, you might say that, oh, this is something I can code by myself. This is fixed. I know how to code that and run it automatically. But think about it. Sometimes maybe Hugging Face is going to change the UI and change the location of HTML variables of these components in the website. And you don't want to deal with that pain structure and changing, rechanging your code, running them again. So here that automation works perfectly. And I need to care, don't need to care about doing that with Selenium or any Python code by myself. And there you go. It works. It went to the search part and just type what I wanted to. Now here, let's say I want to automate browsing Amazon for ordering something online, right? Just giving you an example. So what I'm going to do instead of hugging face, I'm going to type amazon.com. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to say that, hey, let's say I'm looking for, let's say, water bottle to, to check out and order, right? So I can simply start with that, hey, search for water bottle and press enter so let's execute that and see what's gonna happen there you go I actually paused recording since I was waiting for it to get generated I think in almost 20 seconds it was able to generate this on browser for me and as you can see went to Amazon and search what I asked for so here's the result so the good news is whenever you execute something on this browser automatically using Lavoc, it generate the new URL on the top as well so because I asked that, hey, go and search for water bottle. Now I want to ask, for example, a follow-up question. Let's say click on this, click on that. It knows that my follow-up ask is based on this new web page generator. This is not just Amazon.com. This is Amazon.com slash the rest that arrives towards these search results for water bottle. So these are just very simple and basic examples, but the whole idea was how we can integrate uh, the power of language model with a package like Selenium and some driver browser, browser driver, we can automate executing tasks over browser and based on your specific task you want to do, based on whatever you're going to automate, you can write them down in natural language and execute them. You don't need to or it's not a must to come in this UI or in radio to sort of use Lavog. This is for demo and demonstration. You can have that all coded and have the browser shown to double check that it is working properly. All right, that was just a quick walkthrough and just the purpose was letting you know there's something available, show you the out of possibility and check if it comes to your path, through your project or not. I hope you enjoyed this video and that's all. Being charismatic, stand straight, up front, shoulders back. Never cross your arms, never cross your legs, be open. And lastly, move slowly. Let your thoughts go fast, but your body stay in power. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.